Hey, 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 everyone. Luis here one more time, bringing one more add-on review brought to you by Blender Nation, the best site for Blender news and Blender development uh, related news. So today I have this add-on from Maxivs called Interactive Tools for context sensitive scripts that can help your productivity in general. I have a sphere with me and it can be found on the end tab right here, Maxip Tools. It has a tool called Super Smart Create that in theory can help you achieve really great results when deleting and constructing geometry. So if you have a hole like this and you want to uh, replicate that again, you can use Super Smart Create twice to recreate that topology as well as selecting intercalating loops. So one, two, three, smart ring, and now we have intercalating loops. So if you want to clean up the topology of a sphere, for example, you can use that with the dissolve edges to uh, basically downgrade the level of polys for that sphere. You're breathtaking. <laughs> You're breathtaking. There is this other feature called CS Bevel that basically contextually uh, oriented of your selection mode, it will do a different operation. So if you're in face select and you click it, you inset the face. If you're in edge select mode and you activate it, you have bevel instead. And if you are in vertex select mode and you activate it again, you actually bevel the, the vertices. So everything, uh, Instead of having different shortcuts for different tasks, you have one button that actually make the, the same thing based on your selection. Last but not least, you also have a latest option that uh, automates the process of creating and appending lattices, not using the modifier ones, uh, in which by clicking quick FFD, I don't know what FFD stands for. I think it's a, a term from another software, but anyway, it will create a lattice real time and you can add it then. Also, you can come here to latest options and add more subdivisions if you want. So uh, kind of interesting feature to have. Now, if you want to apply this real time, instead of applying uh, a modifier, you ju simply just need to uh, click it again and it, it will apply the latest. So really interesting uh, feature. Now we are all just accustomed with the basics of moving in Blender. So you click G to translate the object in the viewport. Now, if you want to do that along the axis, you need to click G uh, following along the ladder of the axis. So here to move along the, the X one or the Y one, and this is really a uh, not optional way. So he created this called Smart Translate, in which uh, allows you to preview, or maybe uh, it's a script that tries to understand your mouse movement, and you don't need to select uh, the axis to translate your object. So uh, it's a really useful uh, addition. So, uh, it's not available to things such as rotating and scaling yet, only to moving, but I hope he will implement this on the near future. Now I want to share some of the bugs I have found yet with this tool. Maybe that's not of interest of the general public, probably more to the developer itself. So I'll be listening in here. Uh, the first one is when I'm actually making twice a step, the smart ring won't work. I think this is uh, on purpose, I don't know. Uh, maybe that's a feature for to include more than one step instead of one to the smart ring. That would be really cool. Uh, I noticed that the smart ring doesn't work if you have a break on the on the general uh, flow of the quads. So if I select it again and I have a break on the flow and select smart ring, it won't uh, actually select that uh, 
se sequence that I want. Other thing is that when selecting uh, sometimes some of the polys and applying the radial symmetry, I'm getting a traceback error and I don't know why this is happening, but uh, probably on near version, uh, we can fix that. But in a general sense, it's a really good add-on and I think uh, some people may find a use to it. That's it guys, consider subscribing and until next time.